Well, students from the Richland 2 Institute of Innovation created buckets for the staff training sea lions at the Riverbank Zoo, and today they got to see their buckets in action. Take a look. Uh, or we had a student last year that uh, happened to live next to uh, one of the employees here at the zoo, and uh, I guess they were talking in one afternoon after school, and uh, the employee mentioned that they were not able to buy the buckets that they need to feed the sea lions. During the pandemic, like a lot of businesses, the company that made the buckets no longer makes the buckets. He kind of showed them the design, and the students said, well, I can... I can design that easily. We can 3D print it and we could have a bunch ready. And apparently it's all around the country. Like I think they've, uh, we've been getting calls from other zoos saying, uh, where'd you get the new buckets? So at R2I2, we train our students to uh, become CAD engineers. So we're, we're working with CAD software and then we're manufacturing products that we design in the class. So when we first started, 3D printing was kind of a novelty. Uh, but now what we're realizing is that pretty much every industry in the world is using 3D printing for something. It's just been really cool. It's one of those partnerships that just worked out kind of miraculously. It was really just an amazing experience for me because just like learn what rigorous work you have to go through to really make something ready for a workplace. And so it's kind of a cool experience to see the zoo for the first time and uh, see the buckets in action and see that there's a real correlation between the work they're doing in the, in the classroom and then the actual practice that we're seeing here in the real world. It was, it's fun to watch and it was really cool just seeing that kind of collaboration and the keepers really, really enjoy it and now they know they don't have to worry. 